Hello my beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. In case you are new here, I am NK Joy Sweet. You are welcome to my kitchen. Thank you all for tuning in. Today's video, I will be sharing with you how to make the most delicious and perfect tasting Nigerian rich Ogbono soup, popularly known as draw soup. All my ingredients, they are all cleaned and nicely washed. In a clean large pot, I will transfer my goat meat and pomo. Then I will add three cups of water. Chop your onion, your pumpkin leaf, which is your ogo, and your clean bitter leaf, and set aside. Wash your starfish, your roasted fish, and set aside. Make sure your cooking pot is well cleaned. Next, I will add in my chopped onion and I will add one teaspoon of salt and two mangi seasoning cube. Then I will stir and cover up the, the pot to parboil the meat. Then I will cook until it becomes tender. Once the meat is well cooked and the water is almost dry, you can add five, seven cups of water to it. I have listed below all the ingredients used. I have my grand ogbono, my grand dry pepper, I have red palm oil, my seasoning mangi powder, and my roasted fish. I have my washed bitter leaf, it's clean and nicely washed. So next, I will go ahead and add in my grand dry pepper and then I will add my red palm oil. At this moment you can add your dry fish and your stuffed fish if you want it that way. Then you add your red palm oil. If you like red palm oil, you can add about 250 ml. Then stir and allow to boil for 10 minutes. Then next, I will add my grand ogbono seed and stir. I will stir and cook for another five minutes.
remember to stir in between so you don't let it burn. So next, I will add my plain bitter leaf. Taste your soup and add salt to to taste. Then you can add your chopped vegetable, which is your pumpkin leaf, or if you are still using bitter leaf or okazi, you can do the same. Stir and allow to steamer for three minutes after adding the bitter leaf. Then serve the ogbono soup with correct eba or correct pandediam, correct fufu or correct semo. So guys, if you like my ogbono recipe, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Please check out my other videos below. Any of my recipe you like, please guys, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. There is love in sharing. Share me out with love. Don't watch my video without dropping me your beautiful comment. And don't watch without hitting the like button. It means a lot to me. Then I will go ahead and add in my fish lastly. Please, if you've not subscribed to my YouTube channel, kindly do so. Subscription is free of charge. All you need to do is to hit on the notification button so that whenever I update any of my videos, you will be notified. Please do that immediately so that you don't miss any of my recipe. I share all authentic recipe which you will not like to afford to miss. Please share with your loved ones who are likely to watch also and make the draw soup. Don't watch alone. Follow me on Instagram at NKJSweetKitchen. My Facebook page is at NKJSweetKitchen. You can also follow me on TikTok at NKJSweetKitchen. Guys, check out my soup. Just check out my soup, guys. If you make your own obono soup, you are free to share it with me so that I will send you a hug and kisses in my next video. Thank you all for watching. Bye. See you guys in my next video. One love, guys. Keep watching my videos. Thanks to all my subscribers and to all my return viewers. God bless you all. Please keep on watching my video. Thank you all. God bless you all. You may ask for some reason why is your obono soup is watery. Note, do not cover the pot after the obono has been added. Covering the pot will make the soup watery and cause the obono to lose its sliming consistency. You can dissolve more grand obono in oil before adding to your watering soup to thicken it. See you. Bye.